Hello, happy Friday. It's Zoe here with a quick five minute feel good, full body yoga flow that you can do anytime, pretty much anywhere. Ideally at home, comfort, safe, sanitary with your own yoga mat. And before we get started, I wanted to let you know that I do have a special link just for you around this video that is going to get you four weeks of follow along from home restorative yoga with me. It is my gift to you. We call it the ultimate yoga burn kickstart kit. And it is just the cost of shipping and handling for me to send the DVDs to you. And you also get instant online digital access as well to the entire routine, which I think you're absolutely going to love. I've got half hour yoga practices in there, meditations, um, pose tutorials. There is so, so much packed into those four weeks for you. So I really hope that you will take advantage of it now while you still can. And let's go ahead and get started. So you're just gonna be standing to start with your feet hip width distance apart. From there, press your palms down towards the floor, pull the core muscles in and start with your nice deep breaths in and out of the nose. From there, lean your head over to one side and then roll your chin down along your chest bringing your head over to the other side. And just go side to side. You can roll the wrists around as well. That always feels good. Nice, bringing the head all the way to center. Inhale and send the arms overhead, touching the palms. Exhale, bring the hands down through heart center, bowing forward over the legs. Inhale to a nice flat back, so the spine is long, core is pulled in. Exhale and fold over the legs. Try that again. Last one. From there, bend the knees as much as you have to to bring the hands on the ground and step back into downward facing dog. Pedaling out the feet, we're just alternating, pressing the heels to the mat. From there, we're gonna lift one leg and then step that foot up between the hands coming into a lunge. Rather than sinking right into your lunge, try and back out of it first. Tuck the bum under so that your hips are pressing forward and then come back into that lunge, getting into the hip flexor. If that feels okay, you can send the arms high to the sky. Now, whichever foot is in front, you're going to have the opposite hand all the way down on the mat and take a twist opening to one side. You can stay right there or float the back knee. Come all the way back to center and step back to downward facing dog. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So lifting the legs, step the foot up between the hands, backing up out of our lunge, tucking the bum under and finding that depth again that works for you. Sending the arms nice and high. Opposite hand comes down to the mat and we twist. can stay right there or we can hover that back knee again. Coming back to center, step back into our downward facing dog. Come down to all fours, bring the big toes close together, the knees open wide apart and fold forward into a child's pose.
Walk both hands over to one side, connecting through the palms. From there, your hips can push over to one side. Do the same thing over to the other side. So both hands go over. So your hands are over here and you're thinking you're pushing your hips across over to the other side. Come back to all fours. And from there we're going to take Baddha Konasana Butterfly. So bring the soles of the feet to touch. Bring your hips towards your heels, grabbing a hold of the ankles or whatever you can reach sitting up nice and tall. Now you can stay right here or you can fold forward over the legs. If you like, your arms can provide a natural little assist to help open the legs a little more. The hips can take a little bit of pressure because they're such a strong and kind of tense muscle, it's okay to give a little bit of a natural assist to yourself with your arms. From there, close the legs up. Use your hands to help you push your hips back up high to the sky and fold forward over the legs. One vertebrae at a time, rolling all the way up to stand. Give the shoulders a nice roll when you get to the top. And ta-da! I feel so great. <laughs> it's amazing how five minutes can totally change your mood. I was feeling really frantic. Um, we're taking our first little getaway. We're heading to a hotel tonight. Of course, we're doing our proper social distancing and safety and all the regulations here in Ontario, Canada. Um, but to celebrate our anniversary, we're having a little getaway. So I've been packing and it's funny how when you're um, out of the habit of doing something like that, it causes a little more stress. So I know for me, I'm already feeling so much more chill, happy, grateful, feeling good in my body and ready to take on today and the rest of the weekend. And I mean, that is really what yoga does is it just sets you up. It helps your body to feel good. And it's so amazing when you get in your body, how much easier it is to regulate your autonomic nervous system and get more of that feeling of security, of safety, of joy and peace. Um, those are things that all come up for me when I do yoga and I want to help you get more of that in your life as well Which is why I'm so passionate about showing up even when I look, you know, a little bit rough <laughs> And helping you to experience the wonderful benefits of yoga that can be done right from the comfort of home No makeup, no fancy outfits, nothing needed, just you and me and I would love to be your your teacher <laughs> so do make sure you tap the link i've placed for you around this video and we'll see you again soon big hugs lots of love bye bye